Hello guys, welcome back to my art life and for today's episode ay isi-share sa inyo yung aking top 10 colors na hinahanap sa isang art material. So yung art material, it doesn't matter kung nasa tube siya, nasa pallet ba siya, um, or nasa jar ba siya. It also doesn't matter kung watercolor siya or gouache. Basta pag bumili ako ng paint sets, ito usually yung sampung kulay na hahanapin kong unang-una. So gusto ko lang tong i-share sa inyo um, kasi baka makatulong lalong-lalo na dun sa mga nagsisimula pa lang. At marami pa kayong tanong kung ano ba yung dapat bilhin, tama ba itong nabili nyo. So sana makatulong tong video na to para makadesign kayo kung paano mamili ng paint sets. At the same time para makasigurado din kayo kung yung nabili nyo bang set e eh, worth it. Okay, so simulan na natin and yung first set of colors na hinahanap ko ay ang primary colors. So ito ay ang red, blue, at yellow. Dahil kung meron ka rin tatlong kulay nito sa paint set mo, magagawa mo na yung secondary color at yung tertiary color. Meaning makakagawa ka na ng ibang kulay just by having these three colors. And again, that's red, blue, and yellow. So yan yung first three colors natin. The next one naman is orange and brown. Kung yung shade ng orange is more on yellow-orange, mas gusto ko yun. Tapos yung brown, it doesn't matter kung raw sienna or burnt sienna, basta meron siyang brown. So yan yung ating color number 4 and number 5. Kaya nasa listahan ko ang orange and brown dahil ginagamit ko to for skin tones. Especially mahilig ko mag-growing ng anime, so kalimitan yun its characters or mga tao and of course, I'm gonna be needing skin tones. So, kung meron ka nitong orange at brown, makakagawa ka na ng iba't ibang skin tones from pale skin, light skin, dark skin. Lahat yun makagawa mo na. So, depende na lang kung gano'ng karami yung ratio ng orange dun sa brown. Dun sa brown nga pala, um, I mentioned kanina yung raw sienna and yung burnt sienna. So, yung raw sienna, ito yung medyo mapulang brown. And maganda to sa mga medium skin tones. Yung burnt sienna naman na pinagit ko kanina, ito yung medyo nasa bluish na shade ng brown. And um, it's good for darker skin tone. So, yun yung ating color number 4 and number 5, orange and brown. Next naman is violet or purple. So, this is color number 6. So, it doesn't matter kung shade siya ng violet or ng purple. Basta meron either one ng kulay na yun. Para sa akin kasi, mahirap mag-mix ng violet or purple. Alam ko kalimitan, you will have the tendency to mix red and blue to make violet. Pero kung napapansin nyo, medyo muddy yung shade nito. Para siyang grayish violet, hindi siya bright or vivid yung kulay. This is because, kalimitan yung red shade na nandun sa set, it's more parang nasa orange shade siya. So, may halong yellow to. Eh, alam niyo di ba, pag naghalo ang red, yellow, at blue, it creates brown. So, kaya kapag ginamit nyo is red at yung blue, most likely, it's gonna be a muddy shade of violet or purple. So, mga nakatanong pala, ano yung difference ng violet sa purple? Ito lang itatandaan nyo. Di ba merong saying na, roses are red, violets are blue. Dahil ang violet ay nasa medyo bluish side. At yung purple naman, tandaan nyo, Barney the Purple Dinosaur. Dahil ang purple ay mas mapula. So, mas konti yung ratio ng blue. So, yun yung difference between violet and purple. Okay, so yun yung color number 6 natin, violet or purple. So, for color number 7 is flesh tone or peach. Sa ngayon, mas often ko nang nakikita na merong flesh tone sa isang paint set. Pero may ibang paint set din na hindi kasama tong flesh tone na to. Pero kaya ako gustong may kasamang flesh tone na yung set na binibili ko is because parang mas padali, di ba? Ay, meron na akong standard at ready to use color for skin tones. And uh, kung gusto ko siyang going darker or paler, dadagdagan ko na lang ng blue or ng white para mag-change yung skin tone or yung shade ng skin tone. Color number 8 is magenta. Meron na akong video previously, pero I think that was a prank video. I mentioned there kung gano'ng ka-importante sa akin yung magenta. Well, actually, a magenta creates the perfect pink and it creates that vivid and vibrant violet or purple shade. 
kung mapapansin nyo, di ba sa mga printers, meron doon nakalagay na C-M-Y-K. So, C is cyan, M is magenta, Y is yellow. At yung printer, gumagawa siya ng red by combining magenta and yellow. So, ganun sa akin ka-importante yung magenta dahil ito yung kulay na makakagawa ka ng vivid and vibrant colors. Tulad nga nung nabanggit ko kanina, if you use the red and the blue, this will create a muddy or grayish shade of purple or violet. Pero if you use magenta, mas magiging vibrant at vivid yung kulay. Okay, so that's our color number 8, magenta. So for number 9 and number 10 is black and white. Although black and white is not considered color, pero yun yung pang number 9 and 10 natin. Para sa akin, very important din na meron kang black and white dahil ito yung mag-e-expand ng range ng colors na meron yung paint set mo. O nga pala guys, in terms of transparent watercolors, importante sa akin din yung white dahil alimbawa, um, gagawa ka ng galaxy. Kailangan mo dun yung white para gumawa ng specks of stars. At very important dun na opaque yung white as in like para uh, titan yung white. Para litaw na litaw siya dun sa painting. It's very useless for me if yung pute is semi-transparent lang or transparent kasi yung white should be prominent kapag uh, ginamit mo siya. Uh, ginagamit ko rin yung white for highlighting yung sparkles sa mata um, pagka nagdo-drawing ng uh, anime. Kaya yung hinahanap ko sa isang watercolor set or transparent watercolor set is dapat yung white is Chinese white or opaque na white. So itong white na to should function as an opacifier para maging opaque yung ibang kulay. Like for example, if you are drawing on a black paper and you're using transparent watercolors, hindi sila lilitaw dun sa black paper dahil nga transparent sila. So kailangan nila ng opacifier. So yung white dun sa set na yun would be able to do that for the colors. Alright, so those are my top 10 colors kapag namimili ako ng paint sets. Let's run through all of the colors. So again, we have 10. And the first three are red, blue, and yellow. The next naman is orange and brown for skin tones. That's color number 4 and 5. And then number 6 is violet or purple. Maya, mahirap mag-mix ng color ito. So meron ready to use. Mas maganda. Number 7 is flesh tone. And also for the same reason, para meron na akong standard at ready to use na flesh tone every time na kailangan ko. Number 8 is magenta. Because this expands the range of colors. At kapag ginamit niya to mix with other colors, you create that vivid, bright shade. And then color 9 and 10 is black and white. And again, these two colors expand the shade and hue of the other colors in your paint set. Alright, so that's it for today's video. And sana nakatulong tong video na to and uh, you learned something new today. And nga pala, if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. At pakilike na rin tong video at share nyo rin sa mga kaibigan nyo na mahilig sa art. Thank you for hanging out with me today and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a great day guys and take care.